Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Today is all about homemade desserts. These are definitely on the healthier side when it comes to treats. As always, I have all the ingredients listed in the description with their measurements, so cups and grams and everything. Let me know in the comments if you try any of these out. Um, yeah, I always love seeing your pictures on, on the Instagram. And that's it. Let's get right into the recipes. Starting with an apple and pear oat crumble. First off, we'll need some apples and pears. Peel them and cut them into bite-sized pieces. Add everything to a small saucepan along with cinnamon, apple juice, and a bit of cornstarch. Mix it all together. Let everything come to a boil and then let it simmer on medium heat for 10 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Also, to make the oat crumbles, combine the following things. Small cut oats, chopped nuts, spelt flour, baking powder, salt, and cinnamon. Mix in some raw sugar. You can use date or coconut sugar if you prefer. For the liquid, we're adding melted coconut oil and non-dairy milk. I quickly switch to my hands to make things easier and just form the mixture into crumbles. Grab a larger deep dish plate, a brownie pan, or a small casserole dish. Add the filling, then pour the crumbles on top. Let it bake until golden brown and that's it. I served it with plain vegan yogurt, but you can also do vegan vanilla ice cream, coconut whipped cream, whatever you like. Moving on to the star of this video, a half-baked chocolate and orange ice cream cake. Let some cashews soak in water overnight. I went a step further and boiled the nuts first for 30 minutes to ensure they blend up super smooth the next day. The nuts are for the filling, which is one half of the cake. The other half is a chocolate base. Now you can make that the night before as well and just let the cake cool off overnight. First, make a flex egg by mixing together one tablespoon of flex seeds with two tablespoons of water. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. Meanwhile, combine the dry ingredients. Oat flour, baking powder, unsweetened cacao powder, and cornstarch. For the wet ingredients, mix together the flex egg, melted coconut oil, raw sugar, vanilla, non-dairy milk, and the juice of half a lemon. Finally, combine wet and dry until you have a smooth cake batter. Pour it into a greased 9 or 8 inch cake pan. Let it bake for 22 to 25 minutes in a preheated oven at 180 degrees. Now the next day, make the filling by just blending up a bunch of ingredients in a blender or a food processor. The soaked cashews, a half a cup, of full fat coconut milk, a half a cup of plain soy yogurt, the juice of one lemon, a pinch of salt, cornstarch, either orange, clementine, or mandarin zest, and the raw sugar. Blend until smooth. Cause I have 
pour it over the cake and sprinkle some dark chocolate chips or cacao nibs on top. This goes into the freezer for at least three hours. I kept it in there overnight. Um, yeah, I filmed this recipe for three days. A couple hours is totally fine. Once it's frozen, it'll look like this. Let it defrost for a bit first, Amina. About 30 to 45 minutes. I know patience is a big part of this recipe, but it's so worth it. On to recipe number three. This is a white chocolate chip pumpkin flavor cookie dough. A spin on the basic cookie dough recipe that I shared with you a while ago. I'll have it linked up here and down below. To a food processor, add some oats. Now blend up the oats first until you have oat flour. That way the dough comes out more smooth and a lot better looking than mine. Add salt, pumpkin pie spice, or a mixture of cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and allspice. Pumpkin puree or roasted pumpkin. A couple tablespoons of melted vegan butter or coconut oil. And then also some raw sugar. Once again, to make this healthier, you could sub it with date sugar. Lastly, very important, the beans. These are some basic white beans. Add those to the food processor as well. Make sure to blend it all up until smooth. You don't want any bean chunks in there. Oh, I also added some white chocolate chips, of course. I love this bar. It is made with rice milk, I believe. It's really good. It's not a sponsor. I'd love for that to be the case. Um, but yeah, for a healthier version, substitute that with chopped nuts, dark chocolate chips, or cacao nibs. Before serving, put it into the freezer for 10 minutes. This makes a lot of servings because it is super filling. It might not look like that, but yeah. I really tried to make this look pretty, but it just doesn't. This last idea is not that original, but it can also work as a great breakfast. It is gingerbread flavored ice cream, or let's say it's my feeble attempt at making banana ice cream again. Sometimes it works and sometimes it just doesn't. But basically, blend up three frozen bananas in your blender. At this point, the ice cream was almost done. It had a great consistency, it was going somewhere, but I was just over blending it. So yeah, to achieve this beautiful color, add some gingerbread spice and some unsweetened cacao powder. I served it up with a chocolate and coconut bar that I just crumbled on top and some homemade chocolate sauce. How to make the sauce is written down below in the notes. Um, hi! Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to come out here and do a personal outro since there's been so many new people coming to this channel, which is very exciting, and I just wanted to say hi, welcome, thank you for subscribing, please don't leave. Um, <laughs> yeah. In other news, I moved. This is kind of like the first place that I can call my own for now for at least a couple of months. Um, to give a bit of context, for this past year I've either been living at home with my parents and my siblings and my dog and my two cats or just in random Airbnbs. So I just want to tell you that because there's going to be a change of scenery in my future videos. I'm not going to be doing a full 
apartment tour though since none of the stuff is mine so it would be pretty weird to like show you guys a tour of all the things that I didn't buy but you'll be seeing snippets of the place in future videos definitely the kitchen and also the rest like I'll show you but I'm just not gonna go through it in detail Besides that, if you are new to my channel and you like what I make, then you can click subscribe. That would be awesome. Um, if you want to get a bunch of bonus recipes at once, you can check out my ebook. I will link it down below in the description. If you like my videos, you're gonna love it as well. It's just something that you can take with you on the go and then you don't have to like watch videos, but you can just read everything, which is the purpose of a book. I don't know why I'm explaining that. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye. I got that feeling someone's watching me. Right before I caught you staring.